good morning everyone how are you today i am going to uh, show you how you can create uh, resources in aws using cloud formation template so this is a new thing that i have uh, recently started and let's go through this so this is a example cloud formation template which creates two things one a git repository and s3 bucket this is required for all our new projects so i have just written it down so rather than typing it here i just explain you what i have done here so um, this is the template version you can keep it 10 0, 9, 9. it's a fixed then you give a description and parameters so this is important because each project has its own name so i just keep this as parameters and this is a type string where i can give the project name then in the resources section i have two resources to create s3 bucket and a git repository this is a ws s3 bucket this is private and git repository is a ws code commit repository and um a repository name i given them the project name parameter here with ref function this is a function in cloud formation and this means that i am using i'm referencing this um logical id here the value of this logical id which is given by and in the output section i have just displayed the newly created bucket name and also the git repository name. so let's try and see what happens here let's go to cloud formation and then uh, create a stack upload the file and then it's valid go to next i give stack name let's say uh, project facebook okay and then um, fb clone I just keep it as it is click next everything looks fine click next Okay, my resources are uh, started to create in the event section I can see what's been going on so um, the git repository already created that's very fast it's actually faster than ever I thought and my s3 bucket in progress probably it will be done in one minute or so in the resources section uh, okay yeah all are done create complete resources section i see the git repository and the s3 bucket in the output section i see the bucket name this is the bucket name that is created now and this is the git repository okay let's go to code commit and then i go to s3 okay then fb clone you see the repository created fb clone in the name that i have given here in the parameters then on the s3 i create i got a new uh, bucket which is actually created uh, randomly but even if it's taken the project uh, stack name and put some random numbers here okay so this is a very quick and fast way to create resources and this is a actually very simplest way but more things can be done later on and i'm experimenting what can be done it's basically the access control and then uh, some um, permissions like cors uh, operations bucket policies all those things can be put inside here in the resources section that can be reused that means i don't need to give those bucket policies one more one and again and again i don't need to give those cors policies again and again this is a very efficient way to manage your infrastructure and the important thing is it's reusable so i can just uh, put that in a git repository and that's it it can be used in any region because there is nothing region dependent it can be used in the, even other organizations as well in fact i i can give you the uh, template that i just created so that if you want you can use it it's reusable so this is the code of the template but i will give you in the json format in the description of my youtube video okay so far so good let's uh, delete this stack because uh, this is only created for test purpose and let's see if i delete what happens okay my git repository 